One of the things we've been very keen to do at Gobekli Tepe is give a sense of the whole layout of the site. One of the ways we were hoping to do that was with a crane, um, which is going to be coming from Urfa, just down the road, um, and was going to be giving us a bird's eye view, if you like, of the geography of the site. We were really keen on getting the crane along this afternoon so that we can get it in position all ready to go um, for tomorrow morning. And uh, it should be coming along in, uh, in the next hour or so. Yeah, but I know what will happen is he'll turn up at six, yeah. and then he'll no, uh, he has to be ready. He has to be ready. He, he's coming. He he will come. He has to come in, tonight. In, in, he has to come yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I don't mind as long as he comes tonight when we're here. Yeah. One we two hours he will be here. It's now nine thirty. In other words, about four hours after the uh, crane was supposed to turn up, and it's still not here. We'll wait to see if the cranes turn up overnight. Um, by early tomorrow morning. I have to say, um, I have to say I remain sceptical, but we shall see. No, no. This, 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 train, this, this crane is kaput. Well, having gone from a situation where we had no cranes last night, we're now in a situation where we've actually got two cranes, because the crane that was going to turn up last night now has turned up, albeit very late, and the, in its replacement crane that we ordered up last night uh, is also on its way. So we've actually got two cranes, so I've decided that we're going, to, um, we're going to go with the one with the replacement crane, which I think is probably more reliable. There'll be blood spilled before the end of the morning. <laughs> Both uh, crane drivers are here, both are, uh, are expecting to do the job. Uh, the old crane driver, who we try to get rid of, is insisting on uh, hanging around and is now threatening the other crane driver that if he takes the job, then uh, he'll come to no good. Um, we're trying to uh, keep both sides reasonably happy but obviously try and make sure we get the filming done. We are running out of time, we do need to move it into position. Yes, I know, but... Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. He wants 500,000. Very good. $350. I know. We'll give him $300. And that's it. It's my final offer. I'm really so that's it. But listen, you tell him, unless he takes $330, right. then, then both friends are I'm very angry about this. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but the, uh, the crane driver who didn't turn up first and then turned up and was very angry about not being used has gone. Um, with some money in his pocket, I have to, have to add. Um, and the, uh, the other crane driver, the one who's got the brand new crane, is going to hang around and, uh, and he's going to do some filming with us, which is great. Okay, stand by.